Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. Um, I'm going to show you why the M30 drilling in Battlefield 5 to me is the best gun and some things about it that you might not know. Now these aren't big secrets, they're not glitches, anything like that. This is just something that you may not know about this gun. Now I actually found it by accident and I'll tell you how. So whenever you open the gun, whenever you break it open, you notice that there is a rifle cartridge underneath the two shotgun shells. Now this is called an over-under. There's several different types of over-unders. There's a double barrel shotgun where the two barrels are on top of each other. And there's also over-unders where there's a shotgun over a rifle or a rifle barrel over a shotgun barrel. In this case, it's the shotgun is over the rifle. Now these can come in different sizes from the shotgun being all the way as a 410 all the way up to I've seen eight gauges and the bullets be as small as a 22 all the way up to a 306. Now this one appears to be a 306. I just thought it was a looks, never knew how to activate it. My four year old daughter was playing on battlefield. It was time for dinner. I took over and I noticed I only had one bullet in the chamber and I couldn't reload my shotgun. I was like, why is my shotgun not reloading another um, shell buckshot? Turns out she had been playing with the rifle part of the gun and how you activate this, a lot of people don't know this, is you hold the Y button and it switches the different uh, rate of fires for this gun. So if you hold the Y button, it'll switch from shotgun to rifle and back without any kind of pauses or glitches. And I'm going to show you what this gun can actually do once you do this. So yeah, guys, this gun is destructive up close and far away. Everybody thinks you have to get up close with a shotgun. As you can see here, I'm probably about a good 100 yards drop him. And I am hope I'm saying this right. The tromboncino uh, basically the same thing. Like I said, this, is no, this isn't secrets or anything. This is just to help people that might not know this. This is a medic rifle that shoots pretty fast, semi-automatic, and it has a grenade launcher on the side. It's a medic gun, and it's pretty good. It does damage to tanks as well, but I just usually run the drilling because you are the support guy, and you can just constantly keep refilling your bullets things like that so that's just my preference but you can see how far away from here I am and I'm sniping it's instant kill to the head from anywhere a lot of snipers are up here hitting me with cricket bats they saw me shooting with a shotgun got a lot of hate messages because when you snipe somebody like this it doesn't tell your victim what bullet you're using it tells them what gun you're using and it shows my silhouette from like 500 yards away and tells them that I kill them with a double barrel shotgun. So a lot of people were thinking I was cheating, things like that. Just people don't just don't know. But yeah, if you hold the Y button, it switches over. And this gun is just really destructive. There's no long scopes for it. The only scopes besides the iron sights is 1.5 magnification. There might even be a two, but most of them are 1.5 and under and it's just there's no uh, lag at all switching from one to the other you can be full sprint and you can switch from the shotgun to the rifle now the good thing about this I'm gonna go ahead and say this a lot of people won't not only do I think this is probably the best gun in the game I think it's probably the best sniper rifle and I'll tell you why, even though it's not classed in that. The thing is with this gun is, yes, it's an instant headshot from any distance. And to the body, it might be a little weaker. The lowest damage I've seen this do is 60. It's always 60 or above. But the reason why I say it's probably one of the best sniper rifles in the game, one, you're constantly going to have bullets because you're support. But the other thing is, there's no drop-off on this gun. I tested it, 
there's no drop off. Now, when things are running or flying, you might have to lead a little bit, like anything. But when it comes to distance, there's there's none. There's no drop off. I had a friend of mine on the other team go all the way across the map on um, Aras, and I was shooting at him, and or in his direction, and the bullet was hitting exactly where I was aiming all the way across the map. Had no drop off, anything like that. You just have to get used to the iron sights or the small sights they have, the 1.5s. But anyway, this gun is highly destructive. A lot of people aren't good at shotguns. It's just because they're play style. You have to mix it up. You have to use strategy to get close to people. But with the rifle part, if you don't want to get close, you can just sit back, pop people off like this. Anyway, guys, I want to show you some more footage here in just a minute. If this helped you at all, or if you like this video, please hit like, please share, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Treat you. Yeah. <laughs> 